Welcome back to another episode of Germ Docs, everyone. Today, we have the pleasure of speaking with internationally known dermatologist, Dr. David Goldberg. Dr. Goldberg is going to give us some latest tips and tricks about skin rejuvenation in this part one podcast special. He's also going to spill some details about his live patient injection demonstration that will be featured at this year's South Beach Symposium. Welcome, Dr. Goldberg. You have published extensively on laser dermatology and will present a session at the upcoming SBS Symposium. Um, would you like to give us a preview of what that will be about? Sure, Melissa. So, you know, I, I've been doing laser dermatology now for three decades, um, and I am running a session uh, on body contouring at South Beach Symposium, uh, specifically energy-based devices. And so first, I think let's define what energy-based devices means. Um, it, it's a broad category. It's an umbrella term for anything from lasers or light sources, radio frequency devices, um, cryolipolysis devices, or even high-intensity focused elect electromagnetic waves. So it really is very broad. And sometimes that gets confusing, but it becomes less confusing if you focus in on what each thing does. Um, and so what we're going to talk about is, for example, um, there are a bunch of radio frequency devices, and those are devices that basically use electrical uh, energy. Um, and what they do is tighten skin. Um, and, and we've been using them now for easily a decade. You can tighten the skin on the face. You can tighten the skin in the buttock area, cellulite, thighs, uh, abdomen. Um, the second group are those that uh, perhaps produce cold, um, and cool sculpting is certainly the, uh, the most well-known version of that. Uh, and that doesn't really impact on the skin tightening arena as the, do the radio frequency devices. Uh, cool sculpting actually freezes fat, so you lessen fat. So that's the second category. Um, a third category um, are devices that actually impact on muscle tone. And so they're called high intensity focused elect electromagnetic waves or HIFEM. And what they do is uh, having a half hour of that treatment is sort of the equivalent uh, of going to the gym and doing a thousand sit-ups, which of course none of us can do. Um, and so you really tighten muscle tone, uh, but not only do you tighten muscle tone, but you also increase muscle girth. Um, and so the muscles actually look thicker. And that kind of technology has been used uh, on the abdomen. Um, it's been used uh, on the biceps, the triceps, the lower legs, uh, and even on the thigh and buttocks. And lastly, something that we've done a fair amount of research on over the last two years uh, is combining a device that combines both high fem or high intensity focused electromagnetic waves. And again, that tightens muscle with radio frequency that's deep. And the radio frequency that's deep is not only tightening skin, but it's also melting fat. So there is technology now within 30 minute period where you can actually make your fat less, uh, make your muscle tone stronger and tighten your skin all at the same time. And that's generally done over a series of treatments. And, and it's, it's amazing because historically, the energy-based devices that we use for non-invasive body contouring, let's say for the stomach, are generally used for people who are in great shape to begin with and they need a little bit extra um, this kind of new technology can be used uh, in all kinds of people. And, uh, you know, I practice uh, cosmetic dermatology, uh, not only in Florida where the meeting will be, but also in New York, New Jersey. And in New Jersey, generally people are a little above weight. Uh, and so they have a little bit more body mass, and yet we can treat them too. So that's the arena of non-invasive body contouring. It's very exciting. Uh, patients ask for it. Uh, providers uh, are happy to deliver because they have happy patients. Um, and we put it all together over the last 10 years. That is very exciting, actually. I mean, that's truly amazing. And as a member of the South Beach Symposium Planning Committee, what informs the topics you usually plan on your agenda? Um, do you rely most heavily on recent research developments, therapeutics, showing promise in trials? Or do you, you know, personally, just on your personal experience, what do you think? Yeah, well, I, I think, you know, I, I'm obviously one of several people on the planning committee, and we all discuss this together. Uh, I think our general focus, uh, whether it's in medical or cosmetic or surgical or oncology dermatology, is all the same. And that is, we are going to focus on recent research developments, one, mm -hmm. because uh, that's the knowledge base that we want to convey to the audience. Um, two, uh, you know, we're always excited, all of us, about therapeutics that are showing promise uh, in clinical trials, which we do and others do as well. Um, and then lastly, yeah, we all, you know, we're all real. We all practice dermatology. 
Um, and mm -hmm. so we all have our personal experiences. What I've always tried to focus on at South Beach Symposium is not just those three categories of research and therapeutics showing promise and what I personally find interesting in the practice. I try to focus on things that I think are easy for the audience to pick up, easy to understand, and easy to bring into the practices, uh, and with always a focus on creating happy patients. Well, it's a wonderful answer. And um, one session in South Beach Symposium um, that attendees will obviously be looking forward to is the live patient injection uh, that you're doing. So um, can you give us just a little bit of detail about that? So when we think of live patient injections, which we will have, and we have this every year at, at uh, South Beach Symposium, you generally think about injectables on the face. So, you know, all the neuromodulators, modulating toxins, so many fillers out there. Um, but mm -hmm. it's sort of in line with that idea of non-invasive body contouring is taking some of these injectables off the face. So that's called off-label use. It's perfectly legal. It's not okay. necessarily what the stuff was originally FDA approved for, but we do <laughs> all the time practice. And so we're using, for example, fillers, um, you know, we can use calcium hydroxyapatite, which is one uh, polylactic acid, um, where we're going to hyper dilute them. So we dilute them much more than how we use them on the face. And they're typically used to treat um, sagging skin of the buttock, thighs, um, sometimes even stomach, and they thicken and tighten that skin. They've also been used on, on the upper chest, the decolletage in women. Um, oh, very and, nice. Oh, sure yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. anybody, Everyone's anybody, interested in that. You know, why it's most common in women, I don't think anybody knows. But any woman who spent too much time in the sun as, as a younger person ends up with this thinning sort of rippling of their upper chest skin. And you can improve it by using these fillers. Um, and then you add to that, you know, what has now become readily available over the last year. Uh, and that is the collagenase products that treat the dimples of cellulite. And so now we have between the fillers that are used hyper dilute and injectables that get rid of dimples, we really have a total approach uh, to treating non-invasive body contouring off the face, whether it's the use of devices or injectables. It's the whole picture now. And um, when we evaluate patients, and as we will discuss at the meeting, um, you want to think about the rippling of the skin, the quality of the skin, the dimpling, and treat them all with whether it's devices or injectables. Wow, that's truly amazing. Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience today? Well, it's just great to be back to live meetings and back in South Florida. And this absolutely, meeting is really yeah. absolutely <laughs> terrific with a great faculty. And, and, you know, we all really know each other and miss each other. And it's going to be great to be back again. Thank you to all of our listeners. And don't forget to rate, subscribe, or follow Derm Docs and leave us a five-star review. Until next time, have a wonderful day, everyone.